Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. Last time we're earning money in the... Uh, where are we at the moment? We're currently in the Horus system. This is quite a small system for us. We've got loads of missions to do here, so let's go ahead and do them. Quite a few of them. Mainly because I think a lot of them are ones that do not... Like say three, three relays does not necessarily mean every single one of them is going to be a hit. But it's kind of nice to know that every single one of these is very close, even though that's further away, it's not even 2,000 away. Very small system, I like Horus. That's the you. And closest mission? Yeah, it is you. Okay. Hello! I want to get out of here. Just, just temporarily. Mainly because I don't think anything, anything, anything of them was actually worthwhile. Anyway, it's three relays. Morath. So, what's the actual point of this then? Three relays. The Othian Zone Intelligence sources are indicating that Morath Logistics have stashed a large quantity of pure water in one of the Chrono relays. Yours for the taking. Okay. So, what have you got? You have thirteen pure water. Yes, please. I think we, we got the jackpot. We got, ja got the jackpot here, so... Uh, boom. Pure water. Pure water. Just keep grabbing all the pure water. Kind of... Let's basically grab all the pure water we can. We need to fight for the pure water, essentially. Because the pure water is worth quite a bit. Oops, I lost shields on that side. A lot of missiles in bone, actually. Is there, a, is there a assault bomber? There you go. I knew I was going to say, there's a, there's a bomber somewhere. That many missiles means there's a bomber somewhere. And what have we got left here? A Marath Carnivore, which is an Icarus. Okay, uh... What are you guys? There are two. There are two blue things over here. Tachyon salt, which is big, and munitions not as big, but still big. And then the rest of that's pure water, which you definitely want to get your hands on. Pure water is seventeen thousand a pop at the moment. To find a good place to sell it, which I will. And we'll grab all the pure water we can get our hands on. Hold full. Not having any of that, my friends. Any of that. The gold can leave at this point. Pure water. Not munitions. I don't care about munitions. I want water. You know, if I grab munitions, pure water. Pure water. Pure water. Munitions. Gold ingots. Gold. Uh, I'm going to drop you guys off here in a bit. Uh, gold ingots. That. Accelerating to sublight. Exiting. Gold ingots. Gold ingots. Hold, gold ingots. A bit of logistics here, because... And... Here we can dump this stuff off. And what's left over there? All, is it all gold ingots? All water? Gold ingots? 
gold ingots, pure water. Ah, I knew it was pure water there. Which means that one of the gold ingots can leave and go get pick up the pure water. Pure water. Okay. Now. Which means you have at least four gold ingots here. Now, is it worth trying to find a way to place this? Okay. Set a waypoint there. There's a station, there's a Gavira station on the other side of that planet. So, so see if you can do that. I'm not sure if that's going to work. I want to try it out. If I can go to the other side of this planet, find the station, sell this thing they need to sell, and then come back and pick up the rest of the gold. I'm not sure if that's a possibility. But yeah, we got from what? We got 13 pure water, which is at least already, depending on where you sell, 170,000. You're selling, what are you buying? Pure water for 50,000 a pop! That is sold for uh, 700,000. 707,811 credits sold. Attacking on salt, plenty. Um, nice. Very nice. Um, equipment bay, components. Yeah, Mark V plasma drive. For quite a bit of cash, actually. Um, we can go up to medium smuggler's hold or large cargo extender. Uh, we can go for also nebula mitigation, which I'm going to get one of those. Uh, I'm also going to get Mark V sublight booster, or we're going to go, let's get the Mark V plasma drive. Mark five warp drive. Okay. That was definitely worth it. Oh my god. Thank you for having a, a, a place so close by that was actually selling or buying pure water at 50,000 credits a pop. You're not going to be in trouble, are you? Nope. Trouble me? What are you? Oh, you're a hundred to seventeen thousand. Um, not really worth my time, unfortunately. I become like a bounty snob now. Wrath Orchid. Mark three sublight booster. I was looking for a new booster anyway. You are something I want. You have a Mark three sublight booster. I want a new booster. Thank you for helping me with this. You can meet robots. Right, there's an ordnance crate over there, which I don't really need at the moment, because I didn't fire any missiles. Satellite. Ah, the ingots are still there! Hurrah! We still have ingots to pick up, and munitions, but ingots as well. Good. Good. We also got our ingots, I'm happy with this. Now we have to go station favorite. That's, that's what, that's... Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. No message transponder. Engines impaired is not good, but I think we can, we're still out. You could, but frankly... Engines impaired. 
ordnance targeting is probably what I need next, I think. It's 18,000 there, 1,000 no there. Bye, trader. I think that was close. I think that was another leech missile that was right there. Okay, so ambush is the first one. So ambush is the closer one. What's ambush? Ambush is large ambush force less than weight. So you have to engage in the patrol before reinforcements arrive. Okay. Basically, it's a kill everything mission. Fair enough. Right. Something about having like only three seconds before, thirty seconds before we get engaged. So take on as much as we can. The reason, like, the, the here we had a situation where we had some traders, some miners under attack by the Red Devil, and they're also. Um, Marathi ships around here. So we just killed the Red Devil ships, and that was literally all we needed to do. Enemy craft there you go. Enemy craft inbound. Marathi dart. Dead. Marathi dart. Dead. Marathi dart. Dead. Marathi Strike Frigate. Yik yak me. So you're gonna die as well. Oop, you're a bit too far for that now, but let's get closer up and you'll die again. And you're doomed. That was a very easy 100,000 to earn, I think. Um, station favorite, or no, first contact over there. First contact involves eradicating unknown menace. Let's go do that then. We're earning again. Hello. Warning. Griel Scar. It's a Griel gunship, I think. Whoa, hello. Griel Scar's hurt, it seems. Yep, Griel Scar's hurt. Therefore, we need to kill them as quickly as possible. Oh, come on, really? No, Scar, fire at the Scar. Griel Scar over there. Shoot it. That was my starboard shield. Griel Scar as well. Good. Real scars hurt, man. Sadly, I don't think any of them even have any bound any cargo. So Griel justifier it is. Let's just kill you and be done with it. This isn't over. I think it is. I'm fairly sure this is over. Oh, what have you got for me? Soy paste. Brilliant. We 
we're keeping each other on the other side of this rock. I think he was shooting at the rock the entire time, which is amusing. It's kind of like, nice to consider that. Like he was, while I was on the other side, just biding my time, he was firing constantly. Which is a shame, really, considering that that rock was the only thing keeping him alive. Some obtainium, we can track it in some obtainium. Dead, dead. Boom. 87,000, which goes us up to almost 300,000 again. And last but not least, station favorite. Station favorite, which involves. Okay, we have to keep someone alive again. Keeping someone alive is very difficult here, as we have learnt in the past, so we shall see how this operates, how well this works out for us. Real Destroyer, what have you got for us? Real Whiskey. Oh, <laughs> only now I made the association. Yes, they are, Lecter. Do you know why? Because you're an idiot. Fire everything, just keep damaging this guy until we until we have no more choices because we have to wreck him. Right. We're gonna get on that side of him again. A lot of mines around here as well, which is not helping. Holy mother of moly. There's a huge, like... Th I've seen Marathi ships, Greel ships, there's a lot of stuff going on around here. Uh, Greel skimmer. Give it, let's give it a few seconds, shall we? There you go. Hopefully that gave us a bit of Marathi Assault Bomber. Thank you. Marathi Destroyers. And this Greel Destroyer as well. So I can avoid those uh, missile hits as best I can. There are at least two more Greel destroyers in this area. Fire away. Wreck him. Good. At least that's lowered it slightly. Right, second grill destroyer, the third one there's a third one over there. Okay. Leave Lecter. Don't turn around and try to re-engage, because if you do, I will absolutely hate you. Right, so you can take out these red devil aces and stuff. We're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly but surely burning these things down. I do find that the names and classes of ship in this game don't really match up. Like a destroyer should not be as big as a dreadnought. Mm. 
ceramic plating over there. Robots. Hold full, hurrah. Anything to get dumped here. You can get dumped, you can get dumped, you can get dumped. Ordnance crate, we'll pick it up. Alright, now you're the last one to think, and you've got a bounty on your head. Intellectual property needed in artifacts. I don't see if I can get on, the, get on the other side of him. Because my starboard armor is taking a hit. So if you get the other side of him, I might be able to get gold ingots. Grab that. I didn't get a chance to. Missiles away, missiles away. Firing the missiles. Fire, fire missiles. I can actually hail these guys. Gold ingots, grab that, good. I don't need to aim at this range. Can you kill him, please? Good. A real skimmer. Oh boy, are you an artifact? Warning. Intellectual property. Hold Not having that. What have you got here in your hold, Lazarus Lecter? Tachyon salt meteoric diamonds. I guess that's worth some cash. Um, munitions. And gold ingots. Okay, so, a place to sell stuff now. You didn't have a really good price on gold ingots, did you? No. Let's try you. I think we were we were in a we were in a nebula there, so hopefully that's maybe our nebula paint our nebula. Disruptor paying off. Nebula Disruptor? Nebula... What's it called? It's called, uh... What's it called? It's called a... Nebula Mitigation. It also means while we're in here, we can also... Replace... Our... Sublight booster with this one. Or we could just go to hell with it and just give it an entirely new one. Which is tempting. It is tempting to just go, you know what, the hell with all this nonsense and just get a Mark V sublight booster. I'm tempted to try out the null grav boosters. Slow acceleration, but I can catch up like my speed is very high. You know what, I'm gonna get this a try. I'm gonna go for the uh Mark IV Null Grav Boosters. You have a Mark IV Null Grav Booster. You have Plasma Drive, Warp Drive, Jump Drive, Industrial Track Beam. I don't need an Industrial Tractor Beam. Um, Ordnance Targeting is also something I'm tempted to get, to be honest. But part of me wants to, to hold out for the Broadside, what's the name? Broadside charger. Mark four particle lasers are half a million each. Mark four pulse turrets. Okay. So you need 1.5 million for the Mark V pulse turrets. I need another 
3 million for Mark V particle lasers. And I'm not sure what the iron turret is going to be like, but probably going to be quite expensive as well. So I need 5 million in all to upgrade my weapons to Mark V. That's not inconsiderable. Doing that 5 million will get me will get me up to Manticore. If I so choose. Mission board. Oh, that's interesting. A militia minus 20, such as three plus. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Nothing here at the moment. Right, where else can you find some good missions? Map. map. Let's go try the uh, Merchant Guild Trade Hub. I haven't really seen much there. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One thing I haven't actually done is check about prices, have I? Uh, commodities market. Grill whiskey. It's good price there. Everything else is a bad price. But I can sell the stuff that's low cost. I don't care about these things so much. Gold ingots I want to get a better price for. Meteoric diamonds I want to get a better price for. And alien artifacts I want to get a better price for. So let's go check about the merchant's hub. So this is the this is the grav booster. It's a slow charge. But hopefully by the end of it, it'll get quite fast. Interesting to find out how what exactly that is in combat. The sublight was like. Really? There you go. So we're currently boosting. So see how, how, how well our booster works. Not bad. The Filigoy belt. It's a really English support craft. Oh, it's on the other side of the planet. Right. Okay. We're right, we're at the right place. It's just on the other side of the planet. There also seem to be two stations right next to each other. And this isn't the one I'm looking for. Yeah, this is the other one. That's the one I'm looking for over there. Has it been blockaded or something? Not quite. But this is the Merchant's Guild station. Let's see what they've got for me cash wise. Commodity market, please buy something from a good brand. No, that's ridiculously low prices. But uh, that's 10,000 per meteoric diamond. That's kind of worth grabbing, to be honest. And... Gold ingots are half price. You're at half price. What do they want to do then? They're four. They're four. I'm going to guild medium extended, which is 24. Guild rank 4, okay. 12, 16 for the guild, guild rank 3. I'm still guild rank 1, so we kind of want to get some missions done for these guys. Available missions. Dead drop. Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh. Dead drop and hold space. Yabu system. Basically, buy that much intellectual property. Guild pure water shipping. 26 units of pure water will be placed in your hold. Hmm. I would do that, except that it requires coming back to it, which is unfortunate. 
how much, therefore, is the ion turret? 1.3 million for a rank five, for a Mark V ion turret. Which means that for a total upgrade of my weapons to Mark V, I will require 1.35 million. So, 1.6.35 million credits for a Mark V upgrade to my weapon systems. Which is enough money to upgrade to, like, a Radovich. It's enough money to upgrade to a Deep Horizon, for God's sake. Whew. We must find more missions to earn money with. And it looks like the missions here are not what I want to do. I also want to find a good place to sell my meteoric diamonds, because I've got... We have quite a lot of cash in our hold now. That's 120... That's 140,000 if you sell it at base price. And I'm pretty sure we can get more for it than that. It's another 60,000 if you get it there. So let's find out, before the end of the episode, where are we heading to next? Uh, your price... For Meteor... Okay, that's low prices for you. Meteoric diamonds are low price. Gold ingots low price. Meteoric diamonds low price. Gold ingots low price. Alien artifacts low price. Convoy vessel. One thing I would like, for example, is a market glut. That's market glut means low prices. Convoy inbound. Tech boom. Pure water prices there are through the roof, aren't they? Yes, meteoric diamonds are low though. Let's, let's try over there. Let's go over there just for the end of the episode. It's quite close by, and see what the prices are there. I want to see if I can. S I need to sell these diamonds out at a profit. Before, considering how I got them. It doesn't even need to be at a profit. It could just be at cost. This is the, the, the grill has some cool looking ships, man. How sad for you. Bye. I guess it's one of the things about having like a really densely packed a small system is that all all the fighting is quite densely packed. Go okay, see here what the prices are, then we'll log off. Um, right, commodities market. Come on, please give me some. nope. All the rubbish prices. Still meteorics. Jimmy. I'm looking for. I'm still buying meteorics up and the alien artifacts up. If I find a place that can sell these for good, or I can sell these, I'll be making a lot of cash. Anyway, I will catch you guys uh, later, next time, when we're trying to find a place to sell all these diamonds. We got. If we sell at cost, there's 200,000 of diamonds here. If we sell at profit, my god, how much better it could be. Another night. Yeah, we got a lot of cash in our hold. We need to find a place to sell it. Uh, hopefully, we'll find it next time. See you then. Bye.